Hi, Bob here. May 4th, 2013. I'm on the show and demonstrate this type of fourth generation thruster. At least that's what I'm calling them. You can see they're still a charging system. You know, we've been running it. We have the fairing. This cylinder housing here area is the pulse generator housing, which only covers less than a third, about a third of the area. This is really just hollow. Another fairing flange here. This is a primary coil side of the pulse generator emitter. This is a cylinder shape. And on this side, we and in here, we have the two barrel emitters and the large cone ground. Let's see if this thing will start on itself. Well, the humidity is very low. And I'm having trouble getting it going. Been playing with it all day and no problem at all. And now all of a sudden it's acting up. There it goes. The power is on. It is rotating, as you can see. And uh, we'll see if it'll continue to go. I had to make a lot of changes to this new rotating system. I like it, but I'm not still tinkering with it or trying to tune it in, if you want to call it that. I changed the axle hub length. It's much higher now, and I'm keeping the weight down low. And I had a lot of trouble with the commutator. I was getting a lot of ionization off of the uh, commutator, which was actually stalling the. Uh, all the power was being emitted in the commutator. I finally got that under control as because you would hear it. You could hear a very distinct buzzing sound. It's very quiet now. And uh, as you can see, it did pick up on its own, started on it by itself. And it's, uh, I can't. I have had it up to 20 RPM, but I all day long I've been playing with this thing and I can't get it over 15, which is okay. About two foot of velocity of 24 inches a second. That's the best it's getting. In the last, for the last week, we've had very low humidity, and I like to try it. When I run these, I love to run them between 45 and 60 percent humidity but I cannot but I it's just not there it's not even the highest it was today the humidity was 42 so and it was doing okay it's doing okay now as a matter of fact moving it along at about 4 rpm I would think let's see we'll give it a quick count 1001 1002 yep it's at 4 for Two seconds a half a rev and that's where it's going to stay I don't think it'll pick up I know the longer I run them they will well, many many times they'll start increasing the speed but I don't think that is going to happen it hasn't happened all day and I've run them as long as 15 minutes and uh, that's about where we're going to stay with this. This is a, I'm not, this is a very, these are, this is the heaviest unit. I, I put it on a diet, I cut things, I change things. I got it from 120 gram down to 110. <laughs> uh, the entire uh, ion engine assembly, including the support boom, that whole thing was 110 gram. It makes it heavy because most of my units very right around 75 to 80. With the I have run much lighter ones, but it's doing pretty good. And uh, the system is behaving itself. Like I said, when you especially like this new rotating system, when you build something new, you got a lot of ideas and you try to improve it and sometimes it goes the opposite way 
So I'm sorting out between what didn't work so good and it and what I like working better. And it's doing all right. The only reason I went to this because I wanted a, a larger diameter commutator so I could use less insulation, so less spark over hazard to the ground, which is the center. Axle and hub are the part of the grounding system. And it's earth grounded. Anyways, that's the name of that game. And it's doing pretty good now. It's starting to settle down. Yeah, we're up a good four seconds of rev, which is good. About 24 inches a second. A little over, actually, but it rounds out to that. And like I said, I have had it up to 20, but the humidity was in the 50s. I only had one day of that, and that was it. Well, all right, I wanted to show you that on that style. So we will talk to you later. Bye.